Hello, welcome back to Beno Sushi Life Noting. In this episode, I'm going to talk about um, this cool app called Mecha Bricks and how you can import it into Blender and render uh, something that looks like this. And this is actually something that I procedurally created using a spare chalk add-on and animation nodes together with uh, this uh, Mecha Bricks. So Mecha Bricks is um, a cool, really cool online tool to generate some kind of uh, Lego uh, kind of artwork and this has been around for a while apparently and I didn't know only until recently I think it's been around for few years and I think it's by by someone or a company based in New Zealand and basically you you, you have all the tools here to create um, like a Lego toy artwork any kind of uh, Lego toy you can imagine and you, you have a lot of uh, elements here like uh, the animals Lego here here also very very cool like you can make like a spider Lego and <clears throat> this is like an online tools and you can really play around with it and it has its own tools uh, if you use blender for a while this will be familiar for you or 3d other uh, other 3d package also uh, you should be familiar with all this. You can give different color and all that. If you're happy, you can always export it as a collada. And <clears throat> you can also have like a Lego logo on, on the on this brick. Um, the cool thing, there's uh, something about face normal and vertex normal here that you also want to consider. Um, this also, uh, these online tools also allows you to render online. And it's actually using um, some kind of cloud-based uh, cycles render. But if you want to render it out yourself, you can use the export, save it as Collada. And there is a special Collada importer for Mecha Bricks into Blender. And the special import actually allow you um, to import the bricks and give it some kind of a smooth edge around it. Um, this is actually for the cycles, uh, cycles shader, and you can see this is like quite realistic. And I'll show you the the whole setup. Basically, it's pretty simple. Let me show you. Um, this is actually, I believe, this is another file where I just file and link it um, from another different blend. So let me open this vector p voxel so this is the this is the setup that i have i have a couple of ways to generate this but this is one of the easiest but this is um requires this one requires a bit of manual work but the easiest to understand so i started basically with don with a donut you know like a torus donut and then I'm using Blender on Remesh. Of course, Remesh turn any 3D objects into some kind of voxel looks if you select the, the blocks here. And what I did, actually, I imported the Mecha Bricks um, element. This one, um, I think that's number 3005. So the, the, the very basic of uh, Lego Bricks is this guy right here. It's not 100% a voxel, it's actually quite a little bit taller. The bottom part is uh, square, but this part is a bit taller, so you have to take that into consideration. But since the makeup bricks element is very well done, I, I, I think we can simply use it for our purpose. So I just simply grab that, um, import it into Blender. This one I already have uh, the special cycle shader, so it looks rounded at the edge very beautiful uh, and very realistic looking and here i have basically a convert converter from this guy right here into this one like a lego kind of voxel it's actually rather simple uh, inside stretch off i simply grab this torus with a post modifier on so it's taking consideration of this remesh modifier and then from there 
I'm using this uh, vector P field and point inside mesh. First of all, I am creating this uh, vector P field that's kind of matching these points right here. It should, um, if I center this guy right here, and if I hide the Lego, um, or or if I just like uh, put this to the side. There you go. So I'm matching the number of uh, factor P points into to fit into this voxel artwork right here. So all around it X Y Z and it's all. Once it fits, I simply use point inside mesh, and this will compare our remesh geometry with the points and it's gonna output just the points that's inside the mesh so i'll show you there you go so these points will perfectly kind of fit to every like blocks like a 3d voxel if you imagine that's uh, for for this uh, remesh objects remesh geometry so by having these points i really can just instance this uh, lego brick perfectly and here if you if you can see I'm just outputting the vertices right why is that because I like to use um, animation nodes to do the instancing because animation nodes does that really really fast that's why I'm taking the geometry points from Sphereshop using it inside animation nodes to generate this uh, Lego brick yeah you can see it's really really fast that's why I'm using this and the nice thing about this of course you can you can animate it at any point because it's a inside animation nodes and as an output I just outputting it into a group called blah so I can just uh, link it in another blend to do the rendering so that's the setup basically um, here I can try to do a bit of animations so offset vector so really it shouldn't be complicated like um, we need a follow up right follow -up. delay follow -up is the simplest one or I can use directional follow -up. and if i'm doing this correctly okay i can kind of push it up so there's a points coming in and then we want to control the animations based uh, using the fall off based on the directions in this case the x directions Sometimes this requires a bit of uh, trial and error, but there you go. That's kind of animations you can do very, very quickly. Um, of course, you can also randomize. Random vector. So we are generating, here I'm generating uh, like random vectors. Um, how many objects do we have? Just plug this in. So I'm, I have this random vector and I have this uh, directional follow that's controlling how this Lego bricks will kind of scatter itself or back into position. So it's just like a transitions between two positions basically. And, but the directional follow of course can help us to control the transitions. So there you go. That's a... Uh, really uh, how you can kind of cheat it just use the the Lego bricks from Mecha Bricks bring it into Blender make some procedural artwork and then animate it using animation nodes and then render it out like realistically if you like that's a uh, one way to work and of course I'm using cycles uh, to randomize the color so I have three different colors of the Lego bricks 
this is a very simple example I know um, but really when working with Voxel I, I actually really like uh, Magica Voxel I mentioned this in the previous live noting I talk about this a lot some Voxel artists really works using Magica Voxel that's pretty amazing they can they even make animations just inside anim uh, Magica Voxel and render it everything here um, I, I think ideally we can also render it using Blender and animate it using Blender. Uh, it's really up to you, really up to the artist. Some it's a it's all just the tools, but like these makeup bricks provide um, some kind of complications, I guess. But uh, if you if you're like a purist, like a Lego artist, of course you like to use uh, all these uh, Lego bricks, right? And this this app really really awesome and then like I said you can you can actually render this out and do I need to click by no um, you can render it for free if I'm not wrong well you can render it for free for a couple of time but you can if you if you if you doesn't want to pay maybe you can say export it out but there's a advantage of this. It's gonna give you a very uh, nice realistic look. But we like to do it inside Blender, and then here, you know, inside Blender, with it with just a simple component, you can generate like a quite convincing um, Lego bricks. Even though this is like the simplest one, you know, the simplest one in in because we are just a uh, remeshing 3D into blocks. So kind of like a pixelated, uh, like a cheating in a 2D, 2D pixel. But that's one way to work. So yeah, hopefully you find this one useful. Let me know what you think. And I guess I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.